parents, family members, and most importantly, you, the graduating class of 2020. You did it, and we bear witness to your outstanding academic achievements. I am honored to stand before you today with a few final words of encouragement. I want to remind you that the journey you have just completed is truly the beginning of the next phase of your lives. Each of you here today share a bond that can never be broken. As you look back on your days at Hernando High, I hope you will remember them with a smile. It seems like just yesterday was the first day of your freshman year. The entire campus witnessed your inspiring parade through the courtyard. Then, just like that, it was over and celebrated as you rode past Hernando High in an inspiring senior rollout. I want you to know how brave and courageous you are, an important part of our great journey together. I want you to know that each of you are very special to me. It's because I have watched many of you grow over these last few years, and I'm so proud of the young women and men you have become. I always considered myself to be the lucky one, to be your principal on this phase of your journey. And who wouldn't consider themselves to be lucky? Look at all that you have accomplished while at Hernando High School. From this day forward, you will be remembered. Long live the mountains that tried to block this day. Please take a moment to acknowledge that you are definitely defying fate. You are our kings and queens, and we salute you. Each of you have a special place in the depth of my heart for all that you have been through. Our list of accomplishments go as far as having Caleb Gibson as our national merit finalist. We have had a, a, a finalist in over nine years. That by itself is an outstanding accomplishment and has not happened since 2011. We have three football, two softball, and one soccer and baseball players going on to play at the next level. We also have approximately $2,004,756 in scholarship monies given out. So as many of you go off to college, some of you to vocational schools, into the armed forces or the workforce, what is certain is that each of you will be starting this next chapter of your life with a little piece of the legacy that exists at Hernando High School. In closing, I would like to take a moment of silence to remember and honor a member from the class of 2020 on this momentous occasion, Ben Pedamonte. And for all of you, the class of 2020, I hope you remember the good times, and hopefully you have grown from some of the trials and tribulations, knowing that you triumphed and are here today, ready to walk across this stage and into the next phase of your lives as alumni of the great Hernando High School, home of the Mighty Leopards. What I want you to know is that you will not be forgotten, and I hope you cherish each moment you have had with each other. When this chapter is over and it is written in the history books, you will be remembered. Your resilience will be remembered and I will never forget you. Here is my wish for you. I hope your dreams take you to the corners of your smiles, to the highest of your hopes, to the windows of your opportunities, and to the most special places your heart has ever known. Congratulations, class of 2020. May God bless each and every one of you.
of high school students, families, and staff. Each year, I look forward to taking a few moments to congratulate our graduating seniors on their achievement. As school superintendent, it's one of my greatest joys, and this year is no different, except it is a little different. This year, I am speaking to you from a distance because we are all working to defeat a novel threat to our public health. This is certainly not the way we'd hoped it would be. The last part of your senior year did bring a few disappointments, but today, today is a day for celebration. I can't help but to think about your first year in school. Most of you began in 2007. That was the year Apple released the first iPhone and NASA sent the Mars lander into space. Back then, we had big ideas about ways to make our world a more connected space. We dreamed big. Today, you are a graduate. Each of you holds a diploma that will forever document the fact that you did it. You succeeded against challenging academic setbacks and earned the grade. If you got cut, you went out for another team. If you got hurt, you found your way to healing. Where you saw others struggle, you found ways to help. And when faced with a threat from a virus, you shifted to an online classroom and made connections on Zoom. Despite this unusual situation, you kept going. You understood that for any of us, if we want to reach our goals, we have to be focused and strong. Chuck Norris, someone who knows a little bit about being tough, said, the only time you lose at something is when you don't learn from that experience. Class of 2020, you have learned and you are stronger for it. You are ready for what the world holds for you and you are prepared to face whatever the future brings. In fact, we are looking forward to seeing what unknowns you will discover, what beauty you will create, what families you will shape, and what thoughtful citizens you will become. You see, we have no doubt that you will persevere because we watched you on your journey and you proved it to your teachers and to your family. You showed us there is little you can't do. So keep your dreams alive and I encourage you, when things don't turn out quite the way you intended, let today's accomplishments bring you strength for tomorrow and many years beyond. To all the graduating leopards of Hernando High, on behalf of the school board and the entire staff of the Hernando County School District, congratulations, and we wish you good health and all the very best. teachers, staff, and welcome again to all the family and friends that are here to celebrate with Hernando High's Class of 2020. We actually did it. My name is Brenna Uli and I am honored to be the Class of 2020 Salutatorian. I was told my role as Salutatorian is to salute my class. So here it goes. I salute you for passing what seemed like endless nine weeks exams. I salute you for finishing projects on time or maybe a few days late. I salute you for doing everything it took, standardized tests, completing school online, flexibility, and patience to be here today. It is hard to believe that we all started out as little five-year-olds, walking into kindergarten unsure of what we were going to do next. Thankfully, I have my aunt, Connie Jefferson, to give me the best start. That comment might even earn me some brownie points. At least I hope so. We have spent the last 12 years learning and growing. We've had families and teachers that have encouraged and pushed us to be better. I would personally like to thank my parents, sister and brother for always being there for me. Your support has helped me to do even more than I thought possible. I'm also thankful for teachers like Dr. Foster and Mr. Lester who have challenged me and I am grateful to have known and learned much from. And for my amazing friends who have helped me to laugh and enjoy the last four years. I know that all the students here are as equally as grateful for the special people who have supported them. We all realize that this year isn't what we thought it would be, but then maybe it has prepared us for even more than we know. This year has all given us all time to slow down, think, and hopefully realize what is truly important. As the class of 2020 finishes, one part of our journey ends and another begins. I hope we remember 
what we have learned, use our strengths, and commit to live in the present. Fernando Leopards, thank you for proving that we are capable of handling whatever life brings. Thank you for all that you have done and all that you will become. Congratulations, Leopards, Class of 2020. opportunity to be the one to be giving this speech today. I have been so blessed to be the class of 2020's president these past four years, considering we have so many leaders and accomplished students in our class who could be in my position. It's obvious to us all that we are not graduating under the circumstances we expected. We've worked so hard to get to this point, and with a lack of a better term, you could say it's all been swept away. We sat in Hernando High's classrooms, walked the halls beside our friends, and left the chaotic senior lot for our very last time and didn't even know it. What I've realized is instead of dwelling on the things that we didn't get to experience, we need to appreciate the things we did share together. We've made lifelong bonds and many academic and athletic accomplishments that can never be taken away from our class. Although it's extremely overwhelming and frustrating, we all have to remember God has a plan behind everything and an amazing plan for your future. Remember that the sadness and disappointment we have felt is being felt by every graduating senior throughout the nation. You are not alone, we are not alone. Our generation is one that has always been in it together. We entered the world in the wake of 9-11, we are graduating in a world pandemic, and are unsure of what our academic and personal future have in store. These hardships have and will continue to shape us throughout our lives. We are viewed more empathetic than any other generation, we are independent yet inclusive. We are hopeful but realistic. We understand that our personal celebrations are on hold for the safety of our world and the greater good. And we are mature way beyond our years. None of what is happening in the world can take away from how deserving all of us are for getting to this point. We unite as leopards, a class, and a generation. I'm beyond excited to see each individual move on to their next stage and accomplish amazing things. We are forever leopards, forever the class of 2020, and forever a family. We did it. Now let's tackle this thing we call life. Congratulations and go leopards. My name is Starla Jimbird, and I am your senior class vice president. I will be explaining our class motto, which is, the past is my heritage, the present my responsibility, the future my challenge. We chose this motto as a sign to show us that whatever is thrown our way, now or in the future, will be in our control. This represents the class of 2020 because even through hard times, we are the ones responsible for what happens to ourselves, and we take the ambition to manipulate what our future installs for us. Congratulations, class of 2020. Class of 2020, my name is William Ertle, and as your class treasurer, I have been given the task to speak about our class color, the color purple. Like our senior year, I will keep it short. Purple can symbolize many things, but what stood out to me was ambition. Ambition, in simple, term, in simple terms, means to set out to achieve your goals no matter how much work is involved. As we set out on different paths, we must all have ambition, because with ambition, we can accomplish our lifelong goals and become great. Thank you, Class of 2020. I hope your years ahead are even more successful than your years as a leopard. Thank you. Hi, my name is Bailey Burden and I am your senior class secretary. I have the privilege of explaining the class flower. The class of 2020 flower is the dandelion. The dandelion is considered to be a symbol of fighting through the challenges of life and emerging victorious on the other side. With everything our class has been through this year, I do not think we could have picked a better flower. At our senior walk-in, we said we were the class with a vision, but ironically, we did not see any of this coming. Just like what the dandelion symbolizes, we are going to come out of this stronger and more prepared for what life has to hand us. Congratulations to the class of 2020. Hello, my name is Aisha Bridges and I am your senior class historian and I will be explaining our class song, which is Long Live by Taylor Swift. This song showed us a true reflection of good times shared with others. 
Through high school, you have many good times and bad times with the people around you. But when we hear this song, it reminds us of all the true friendships built and faithful memories made. One line of the song really stands out for the class of 2020 when she says, it was the end of a decade, but the start of an age. Congratulations to the class of 2020 as we all make a difference in this coming age. No one will forget the class of 2020. I mean, no one. It may not have ended the way we planned, but we certainly made history. I hope I can speak for everyone when I say that I'm overjoyed to be graduating as part of the class of 2020. This is a huge milestone in all of our lives, yes, but more than that, it's a chance to honor, thank, and remember everyone and everything that's gotten us to where we are today. Many of us have lived in Hernando County for most, if not all, of our lives. And many of us will now begin to leave this place, at least for a time, as we move on to our next steps in life. But wherever we go, we take with us memories that last forever. Memories of family and friends, people that have led us, that will always have our respect, good times and tough times, and life lessons that will serve us well. We thank Hernando High School for being a community to us, a safe place to grow up and learn, a family for us with friends that will keep forever, and a place we enjoy sports, music, clubs, and more. I'd like to personally give a shout out to all my fellow students who have been so kind to me all these years and who have worked so hard to get to where we now are. That with school, homework, jobs, sports, games, and tournaments, family responsibilities, and just life in general all at the same time. I'd also like to thank our senior class guidance counselor, Mrs. Green, and our amazing principal, Mrs. Booker, our great assistant principals, and our fantastic office staff. Of course, we can never forget our outstanding team giving us knowledge, wisdom, and it has to be said, a few frustrations with playing some homework assignments, but also joy, laughter, and more than a few good times, like those perhaps on section end of the year post-exam movies and parties. I'd like to personally thank Dr. Foster, Mrs. Mamaplant, Coach Lang, and Mrs. P for helping me whenever I needed it. I'd also like to thank Mr. Day for being such a great guy that gets along so well with literally everybody and for being such an awesome agent. And thank you to Miss Baby Platt for being such a great class sponsor. We all have her to thank for getting us to this point. From organizing the senior walk-in on our first day down to a choice was right close for our graduation ceremony today. Thanks for keeping everyone connected and informed on band and patiently answering the same questions over and over again for what must have just seemed like dozens of times. Also, even though he's no longer with us, I'd like to honor mm -hmm. Mr. Lester for what he meant and has meant to me and all of his former students. He was the first teacher that I actually had to study for, but more than that, he was a teacher who taught us how to learn. His instruction provided a foundation for every AP teacher at Hernando High School. And when the day of the AP exam finally came around, even if you went into it feeling uncertain, you came out of it saying to yourself, man, I feel pretty good about that. And of course, once that day was passed, everyone relished in the traditional Lester post-exam festivities. You know, the movie binge, and of course, the unforgettable trademark weekly event known as Pancake Friday. Of course, I have so many more teachers to acknowledge, as do we all, who are teaching us something far more important than the required curriculum. They were teaching us the confidence that we could succeed, be the next grade level, the next EOC, and the next step in our journey. In conclusion, I'd like to congratulate all my fellow graduates in the class of 2020 on this remarkable achievement and to remind everyone that the world is full of good opportunities. Just remember today to not look too far ahead. As the old adage goes, life inch by inch, life's a cinch, mile by mile, life's a trial. In the words of Albert Einstein, learn from yesterday, live for today, and hope for tomorrow. We are all different, and God has a different path for everyone. But no matter what, that path will consist of and end in success and joy. Whether that looks like becoming a politician, a CEO, managing enormous wealth and responsibility, or just finding contentment and happiness in life. You don't have to have huge achievements on paper or on a wall to have success in life. You just have to give to others as the people at Hernando High School have given to us and live each day with a positive outlook, content with the fact that you already have success right now. Congratulations, everyone.
I look up in the mirror, memories take me back. Fixing up my tie, straighten up my cap. Whoever thought that we ever would see the state, the path that we paved is narrow, no arrows to point the way. I look back and want to laugh like crazy parties and mad fights, and all the times I stay home studying. Yeah, right, we did it big, walk with me on this last night Carry that flame, keep walking, baby, that's right And look at us now, we standing so proud In front of the crowd like yesterday, I was just a child Remember them days of running in the streets Used to ride the bikes around before we even had the keys Now, no time to grieve, some of us will get to grieve Some of us overseas, some of us will never leave Until my people couldn't be here, may you rest in peace You here with me, your graduation Like yo, I see and no matter how far we fall apart, you always have a peace in my heart. I can't believe that you're gone. So goodbye to adolescence, detentions and suspensions. Never stop with the questions. What we learn in these lessons. Find our memories will never leave us. Destiny, you need us, man. I might have even like some of them teachers. Don't shed no tears. Can't wait to leave, but there was so much here. This is where we had our first love, our high school years. Remembering ones we'll never forget Everything we treasure, even something that you said Homecoming relationships, chasing chips, taking trips Food fights, prom nights, ball games, Friday night lights Misbehaving, pre gaming and party at the Hojo Jersey Shore and the girl that I got with on the low low Talent show, best dress, you rock the flies, logo What happened to the kids? I don't know where they go, y'all All my girls that I'm a miss center All of my homies, all the crazy things we did Staying away from the police Academics and athletics, man, look at all the trophies I want the five years, what you know me? But as we reminisce, always remember this We rocked it to the end of it This is the next genesis Generation X is what we label Say the breath with it We ain't starting the fire But you never see the end of it I feel obliged to open these young minds Your dreams ain't a mirage You can do it, baby, grind I was told life fly in the blink of an eye So ride, let the music play the soundtrack of your lives
like we think about now Can we survive it out there? Can we make it somehow? I guess I thought this would never end And suddenly it's like the women and men Will the past be a shadow that will follow us round? Will this memory fade when I leave this town? I keep, keep thinking that it's not goodbye I keep on thinking it's a time to fly certification for the graduating class of 2020. Superintendent John Stratton and members of the Hernando County School Board, on behalf of the faculty, staff, and administration of Hernando High School, it is my pleasure to certify that the graduates of the class of 2020 have satisfactorily completed all requirements of the law and standards for high school graduation as prescribed by the Florida State Board of Education, the Hernando County School Board, and Hernando High School. It is therefore my recommendation that the certification be accepted and that the appropriate diploma or certification of completion be awarded. Another turning point, a fork stuck in the road Time grabs you by the rest, directs you where to go So make the best of this test and don't ask why It's not a question but a lesson learned in time It's something unpredictable, but in the end is right I hope you had the time of your life So take the photographs and still frames in your mind Hanging on a shelf in good health and good time Tattoos and memories and dead skin on trial For what it's worth, it was worth all the while It's something unpredictable, but in the end is right I hope you had the time of your life Something unpredictable, but in the end it's right I hope you had the time of your life It's something unpredictable, but in the end it's right I hope you had the time of your life Days come easy and the moments pass slow And each road leads you where you wanna go And if you're faced with a choice and you have to choose Hope you choose the one that means the most to you Hope you still feel small when you stand beside the ocean Whenever one door closes I hope one more opens Promise me that you'll give faith a fighting chance And if it's cold outside Show the world the warmth of your smile But more than anything More than anything I hope you
can almost see it. That dream I'm dreaming. There's a voice inside my head saying you'll never reach it, but I, I gotta keep trying. Gotta keep my head held high. My wish for you is that this life becomes all that you want it to. Your dreams stay big, your worries stay small. You never need to carry more than you can hold. And while you're out there getting where you're getting to, I hope you know somebody loves you and wants the same things too. Yeah, this is my wish. Hoping you take that jump. You don't feel the fall. Hope when the water rises, you build a wall. And hope when the crowd screams out, they scream in your name. Hope if everybody runs, you'll say it's always gonna be another mountain. Always gonna wanna make it move. Always gonna be an uphill battle. Sometimes I'm gonna have to lose. Ain't about how fast I get there. Ain't about what's waiting on the other side. I, I did it all. Find. 
I'm just beginning The pins in my hand Ending unplanned Do you ever feel like a plastic bag? Drifting through the wind, wanting to start again Do you ever feel, feel so paper thin? Like a house of cards, one blow from caving in Do you ever feel, feel the rain on your skin? No one else can feel it for you, only you can let it in No one else, no one else can speak the words on your lips Shoot yourself in words unspoken Live your life with arms wide open Today is where your book begins You just gotta ignite the light And let, let the sun illuminate the, the words that you cannot find Reaching for something in the distance So close you can almost taste it Release your inhibitions Cause Make a wish, take a chance, make a change 